morning, all empathic, sensitive souls. Happy Monday. How is it going out there this week? So far, I don't know. It's foggy out. All I know is it's going to be a wild ride. It's going to be an awesome week. And how do we know that? We're going to set the intention. We're going to shift our mind that no matter what happens, I'm having an awesome week. Last week, we spoke about positivity, talking positive to yourself, giving yourself a pep talk, being your cheerleader, looking at whatever goals you may set for yourself, whether it's to get to work on time, keep your coffee hot, get out the door, whatever the goals are, accomplish whatever you set at work, make get my load of laundry done out of the dryer. And celebrate those small goals, like add a girl, because where I work, there's no add a girls. Even if it's something that, oh my gosh, the world is ending and you stepped in to help stop the world ending, it's expected. There's never a thank you. So I have to thank myself. And what's wrong with that? We can pat our own selves on the back. I don't do it in front of others, because then people think I'm a narcissist, but it's Gosh darn it, I went above and beyond and I did good. At a girl. This week, we're talking about gratitude. Now, you can start a gratitude journal. Now, I am horrible at writing things down. I prefer to type them out. And you can type them. You can write them. You can even say them in your head. Every morning before I get up, I give myself a pep talk. Okay, Denise, you got this. You can do it. We're going to get up. We're going to get going. Then it's, okay, well, what are we grateful for? Well, I'm grateful that I'm in a great mood. I woke up another day. Yay! I've got things to learn. We can do it. I got it. I give myself my pep talk. Things I'm grateful for. I woke up. I know I've got hot water. We had bad storms over the weekend and massive flooding, and I'm A-OK. -okay. It went around the town. Yay! Some people didn't fare so greatly. My heart goes out for them. There's some damage, destruction, a few tornadoes, lots of flooding. I send prayers to all of them because that storm was scary. I'm grateful. And then at night when you get home, I review my day. Usually when I go to bed, and sometimes there's drama that happens, especially at work, and I start harping on it. But then I have to stop and ask, okay, why did that happen? It's teaching me a lesson. What was my lesson? Did I learn my lesson? How did I handle it? Was I calm or did I get anxious? And I've noticed the more I work on myself, my inner work, my emotional health, that I can feel my anxiety start to rise and I know I can use my breath work. I know I can go out and smell nature or stand in the dirt or the grass. I can listen to music. I can calm myself. I don't have that anxiety ramp up to the point where it's fight or flight. I get a little, yeah. But it's not to the point where I'm ready to run out the door screaming. I give myself a pat on the back for that. Kudos to me. Yay! Because it's a long time since I've been able to regulate that fight or flight response. And I celebrate those wins even though I may not recognize it at the time. But I do in my review at night. So a positive self-talk, trying to keep my attention on the goals and celebrate them, keep track of my gratitude, either write them down or say them in the morning, review them at night. What did I learn? There's always drama. There's always trials and tribulations, ah, right? It, especially at work, especially with family. And how did I react? Did I handle that okay? Well, a heck of a lot better than I ever have in the past. I'll take that as a win. 
I'm grateful for the knowledge that I'm acquiring and that I'm working with and pushing myself through with calmness without being so anxious. I'm working on it. Now someone asked me the other day, well, why do you do videos? Why, why do you, what's this all about? And I don't know if I've ever really told anyone what I do. I am a certified intuitive emotional healer. I help women who are feeling stuck in their emotions break free and move forward with their life. As I continue on this week and in the following weeks, I'm going to be talking more about what it is to be stuck, how you know you're stuck or you think you may be stuck, and how we break free. What are some of the emotions that make us feel stuck? And in that, I'll be tossing in, oh, here, let's work on a gratitude journal. But I find it amazing that working on my emotional health opens me up to seeing, to feeling the gratitude, to working on the positive self-talk, to working on seeing the goals, accomplishing them, and I'm proud of myself for what I've done. Whereas before it was, eh, it's not important. Well, yeah, it's important. Now I feel I am important too. Instead of I praise everyone else, and I never get the praise. So I praise myself now. I know it's crazy. It sounds weird, but it helps with my mental health. It helps with my emotional health. And in this day and age, we need all the help we can get. So I just hope by me coming on, talking a little bit, it gives you something to think about. Put it in the back of your brain and pull it out in moments you may need it. That's the goal, is to help you become who you wish to become. Whether it's through breath work, whether it's through inner work, whether it's through meridian tapping, whether it's through just listening to somebody blab and gleaning some information from it. That is my goal. I hope you all have a fantastic week. I am going to be running late if I don't hop off. It's foggy out today, so it's going to be a slow drive in. And that's okay. I don't mind taking a slow drive. We're good with that. I hope you have a fantastic week. I hope you glean something from the information I'm sharing. Post it in the chat. Let me know what, what you are looking for or are thinking of or have questions about. And I'll do my darndest to get them answered. Take care, everyone. Talk to you on Wednesday.